Well, Mr. Peter Mansbridge, what a thrill to be able to sit here and talk to you and talk about thrills, to, to get a call or to find out that they want our national amazing anchor <laughs> to be in a Disney film. I mean, what were you thinking when you got that initial uh, call? Well, I, it wasn't a call. It was actually, I was, I was at the airport. I was going through a security line and there was a fellow behind me who said, hey, I, I work for Disney and we were just talking about you in, in a meeting. We, we'd love to have your voice. Uh, in a new animated feature we've got coming up, it's going to be a really big deal. And I'm thinking, sure, sure, he's from Disney, right? right? Yeah. Um, but we exchanged cards, and sure enough, I, I end up getting an email from him, and he really is from Disney. He's vice president of Disney, and um, th they were serious, and that's how it started. Uh, uh, as simple as that and uh, you know after a little bit of uh, back and forth with the CBC about whether this would be appropriate yes, for a, a yeah. journalist uh, and we always have that consideration uh, we sorted things out and we thought this was a great opportunity uh, for for us for the CBC for me and uh, away we went well come on I think you got some schlep there now that you know <laughs> yeah. you, could, you could have gone to the big boss and said really it's a Disney movie yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the way it happened, actually. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. And, you know, what a great character. We're, we're not allowed mm -hmm. to say anything about, you know, what he does, because it's kind of a pivotal part. Uh, part. Right. But, you know, Peter Moosebridge, you are a moose anchor in this world that only animals live in. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have to get into the mindset of a moose? Like, did you go up north and, you know, check them out? <laughs> well, fortunately, I've lived in the north, and I spent a lot of time, uh, you know, at, at, at my... Uh, cabin in the in the woods north of, uh, of Ottawa um, so I had kind of built-in research about uh, about moose life look they they wanted my voice right and they wanted my voice to be the way it normally is so it, it, it I didn't really have to act moose like although it was kind of fun the whole process yeah. of doing the recording dealing with the producers uh, in Los Angeles uh, and uh, that that whole uh, process was was fascinating to watch and to, to be a part of. Were you a little nervous because is, is doing voiceover work for a film mm -hmm. a lot different than you know sitting there at a news desk or doing voiceovers for a newscast? Well it is because you're dealing with fiction and hopefully in your real work you're not dealing with fiction. <laughs> uh, but it was different. It was a totally different experience and as, as you know when, you, when you're doing something that you've never done before yeah. There's, you know, a little bit of nervous energy uh, associated with that, but it's exciting as well. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I live in a family where my wife is, is very much a part of the, uh, of the acting scene. Yeah. And uh, so this was an opportunity to kind of uh, live her life a little bit, even if just for a few seconds. Because you're right, it's, it's a small role, it's a cameo role. Yeah. But, uh, but it is kind of pivotal in, in terms of the storyline. So I was going to ask you if Cynthia was just a little bit jealous. I think she was. <laughs> I think she was very jealous, actually. <laughs> Did she help you with your lines, at least? Well, we went over them. Okay. Yeah. And All right. She, you know, she... Uh she did her moose thing, and I did mine. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I mean, Peter, come on, your grandchildren, they must That's be right. thrilled about something like this. Well, you know, that was one of the major considerations for me as well. I mean, Disney and CBC have a long history together, yeah. so I, I thought that was important. This film is directed, at, you know, for the main part at young people, although it really is. It's, you know, adults are loving it from what I've seen in the, in the, the testing so far. Um, but uh, back of my mind was, grandchildren yeah. who are not impressed with what I do and my really you know, they don't really care <laughs> that I do the news but as soon as I told them I was in this they were over the moon they were really excited as they should be it's mm. very very exciting you know I wanted to ask you just away from the film for a minute you know I, I, when I started journalism when you started journalism it was a whole different ball game mm -hmm. and now we look at what's going on with journalism and I wanted to get your thoughts about where you think it's going and 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 you know, it's scary. My son graduated radio and television arts from Ryerson, and he's now pursuing a teaching career, you know, mm. which I'm thrilled. But are there jobs out there? Mm, you know? Well, you know, I, I'm a believer. I'm an optimist. You're absolutely right. The, the, the situation, the landscape of, uh, of broadcast journalism and journalism in general has changed dramatically over the last 20 years and keeps changing. Yeah because of technology, because of the different kind of industry, because of the internet, because for a lot of different reasons. Yeah. But still, at the end of the day, people love stories. Uh, and they want people to tell them those stories, real stories about what's happened uh, in their world. Mm -hmm. So there's always going to be a need for good journalism. It's finding the right vehicles to tell it, to show it, to express it. 
And I think we're going through a fundamental shift, as are a lot of other industries, not just uh, uh, journalism, uh, on, on how we go about our, our jobs yeah. and what the best vehicle is uh, to, uh, to tell stories. So until we sort that out, and this may take a while, I mean, there are a lot of fundamental shifts going on. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I believe at the end of the day, people still want news, they want to be informed, and they want to be informed by the best storytellers that we have. Well, you're one of those. Thank you so much for everything that you've done and that you do for us. Great job. You do Canada proud. And I hope the next time you go to Kawartha Dairies, you know what you're ordering. <laughs> Moose tracks. Moose tracks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great Thanks, to talk Bonnie. to you.